hammock set up. Um, so I'm going to do it a little bit differently than I normally do, just because you don't see anything the way that I normally do it. Normally I would put my uh, uh, tarp up first, uh, and then do everything else under the tarp. That way if it rains, I'm doing everything, you know, kind of under the dry tarp. Uh, but I'll do everything before the tarp this time, just to show, show you how it's done. All right. Okay guys, uh, so what we're looking at here is the setup of the hammock itself. Um, I've got a full hummingbird setup, which means um, uh, I've got hummingbird hammock tree straps. Uh, I've got a hummingbird single plus uh, hammock. <clears throat> I've got the hummingbird warbler bug net uh, and the hummingbird pelican tarp. Um, I've also got two pieces of gear from uh, Little Shop of Hammocks. The top quilt and the under quilt both come from Little Shop of Hammocks. Now what I'm doing in this point, at this point in the video, uh, is uh, setting up the tree straps. I try to get them as even as possible. Uh, um, there might be times when I set them up higher or lower in order to get the right hanging angle for the, uh, for the hammock. Uh, the hammock uh, is most comfortable when it hangs at about uh, 30 degrees below the horizontal. Uh, so um, you get that by kind of strapping the straps in the right place and adjusting the whoopee slings that hold the hammock in place. Uh, I'd also adjust the whoopee sling so that the hammock hangs under the tarp typically, but of course, uh, you know, we're doing this without a tarp at this point. So I just uh, sling the hammock in place uh, as if I was uh, uh, setting it up, um, uh, you know, permanently. Um, uh, which means strapping it in fully, um, adjust the whoopee slings and try to get that angle right. And this is my favorite part of the whole process and that's testing the hammock. It feels super good to sit in it after a day of hiking. Yeah, it's uh, really nice. So the next thing I do is I uh, set up my bug net. Um, uh, one little trick that you can do with the bug net is you get it all kind of uh, in place, put your arm through both ends of the bug net, uh, and then kind of snake the, the hammock um, tie out through those, those holes. Uh, another trick that I like to do is I get the, the, um, the guy line for the, for the bug net uh, strung into place. Um, uh, before I kind of slide the bug net over the hammock and then when I stretch the the bug net out the guy line gets stretched out with it it just kind of speeds things along a little bit so that's kind of what I'm doing here I'm putting the guy line in place um, and then uh, I, I'll uh, pull the bug net across and uh, string up the the guy line in order to get that uh, bug net at the right height you kind of want to have the bug net at a at a height just below where the tarp is going to be um, and it gives you lots of room to, to get in the hammock. And so you can see when I string the bug net across, it kind of uh, pulls a little bit tight. You want to have it raised up a bit, and that was what I was doing there, just checking the height of the bug net, getting the guy line tied into place around each tree. And I've got little uh, clasps that make that a quick process. Some people will tie their uh, bug nets in place. I clasp it. So what I'm doing here, guys, is putting a sheet of Tyvek below my hammock. It's where I put all my gear uh, when I'm sleeping. The tarp covers it and keeps everything dry. So the next task is to get the underquilt in place. Um, so that's what I'm kind of crouched down doing here. I've unzipped the bug net and I'm placing the underquilt inside of it. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to strap the underquilt up uh, underneath the, the hammock by strapping it to each end of the hammock. So I undo the bug net, reach inside, grab the straps for the underquilt, and then uh, just pull them up through, unclip the hammock, and uh, uh, put the strap in place for the underquilt. Um, do that on both sides. Make sure to remember to tighten those uh, bug net ends back up. I've forgotten that a couple of times and left a little gap for the mosquitoes to get in. So I just reach in there, grab the underquilt, pull it into place, unclip the hammock and put the underquilt in, strapped in, in place on either end. Making sure once again to tighten up the bug net once I've 
uh, finish putting that under quilt in place. So you can see the under quilt kind of goes right up underneath the, the hammock. Uh, at this point here in the video, I'm just gonna open things up and uh, make sure that that hammock is, is in place. So I finish off here by, um, you know, at this point, loading the, the hammock up with my top quilt and uh, whatever other things are going to go in there. So typically what I'll put in the, the hammock with, with me is the top quilt, something to keep me warm, uh, something to act as a pillow. I mean, a pillow would be the, the ideal thing, but I've been using my uh, uh, fleece as, as a pillow, so I load that up, and then I load up all my sleep clothes. At that point, we are done. Alright guys, so last things first, um, normally I'd put up the tarp uh, before everything else, but in this video, of course, for effect, so that you guys can see what I'm doing, we put up the tarp uh, last, so I wouldn't normally string it across the hammock like this, I'd normally string it in place, uh, and then put the hammock up underneath it, but uh, yeah, this is the way we're doing it here. I string up the uh, the tarp using uh, a guy line, uh, wrap the guy line around the tree and then fix it to a toggle that's attached to the uh, tarp. Um, the toggle is real easy to use, you just wrap the guy line around the toggle and uh, you can then adjust the position of the tarp real easily uh, by kind of pulling it back and forth through that toggle. I think you see a little bit of that in this in this video. So right now I've got the guy line wrapped around the tree and I'm tying it in place. That's what I'm doing there with my back to the camera. I'm going to take that guy line, I'm going to go across, run it through the other toggle on the other side, uh, and then do the same, the same thing on the other side, wrap the guy line around the tree, uh, and then tie it to the toggle. And once I do that, I pull everything tight and tighten the hammock in place. So I've got the hammock tightened up. I, I tie it in place with that toggle and I can adjust it back and forth so that it completely covers the, the hammock uh, evenly on both sides. I think I do a little adjustment here, yeah. There we go, just get everything in place. Uh, so the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna uh, stake out the, the hammock uh, corners. There's uh, tie outs on each of the, the bottom uh, corners of the, of the, or sorry, not the hammock, the tarp. I'm going to uh, tie out each of the corners of the tarp. Uh, I use just a regular tent stake for this stuff. Uh, and I've got a guy line attached to each of these tie outs. Um, uh, I use a, a thing called a modified trucker's hitch here uh, that, that uh, wraps around um, and ties real quickly into place. I learned it from a guy named Andrew Skirka. You guys should definitely check out some of Andrew Skirka's uh, articles and videos. He's uh, very knowledgeable about the backpacking stuff. Uh, anyhow, he uh, recommended this uh, tie-out uh, trick with the uh, modified trucker hitch. It, it uh, ties real quick and unties real quick, and it is really handy for these uh, for these uh, guy lines that you use for tie-outs when you uh, uh, you're tying your tent down or your hammock down or your tarp down or whatever. Uh, so I tie the each of the corners down so that I get a nice angle. You want to have enough room to work underneath the hammock or underneath the tarp, sorry. Um, you want to be able to kind of, you know, move around underneath there, especially since, you know, normally we do all of our setup after the fact here. Um, you want to have enough room underneath the tarp to kind of move around a little bit, get in and out of your hammock is the other the other thing. Uh, also, once the, the tarp is tied out like this, it covers that, that sheet of Tyvek completely. So uh, any gear that I've got sitting on the Tyvek is, is going to be uh, kept dry and, and protected uh, from the elements, um, which is also, you know, pretty key. Uh, so yeah, at this point, guys, I'm tying out my last tie out. I've got lots of room to work underneath the tarp. Um, and yeah, we're pretty much ready to roll. Everything is in place and the tarp is uh, nice and wide and we've got lots of room to work and our gear is all protected. That is it. Hopefully this came out okay. Check it out. Nice little sheltered area for me to get in under when it rains and 
whatnot. Yeah, that's not actually a bad hang, even though I did it in the wrong order. So one thing I didn't demonstrate there, guys, is is uh, what to do with those flaps at the end of the, the tarp. Uh, those are storm doors. Um, I do typically close them, and I've, I've got another little trick for uh, how I close them. I use a, a two additional tent pegs um, and an, another modified trucker hitch. I tie them around the, the base of the, the tree trunk that I've got everything else tied to. Uh, through the um, the tent peg and then up to the um, the storm doors and just kind of pull them closed and that pulls them real tight and keeps everything dry it gives me a little bit of extra room to work at the end you can also just uh, put it some kind of toggle like a uh, a tent peg in in the, the the storm doors in time to each other but I find that you know they still flap around a little bit then uh, but uh, yeah I, I, I didn't demonstrate that because I didn't close them until after I'd kind of gone to bed for the night uh, but anyway yeah hopefully that uh, is you know good gives you guys some idea of, of what my setup looks like and um, yeah I mean if you're into hammocks uh, you want to give them a try I can't recommend uh, hummingbird highly enough uh, you know ultra light um, and then on top of that, you know, really good, sturdy gear. Um, also, if you're Canadian, I can't recommend Little Shop of Hammocks highly enough. I know that uh, they, they're pretty busy these days, but, uh, um, you know, it's worth the wait because the gear is so good. Um, yeah, hopefully that was informative and you guys enjoyed the, the process. Um, yeah, stick around. I'll have some more stuff like that. All right. Thanks for watching.